Hello loves, thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. I'm back again with another video and today we are doing a super fun one. We are going to be doing my Amazon designer dupes. Now, I have a couple of little things. I don't have too much. I um, really will only get dupes if one, I do want to purchase the real thing, but I want to see if I will get my wear out of it. Or two, if I know it's something that's cute that I really want, but I just know I won't buy it. I have two things in this video that are, I would say not dupes, but more copies of the item. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that. And I'm gonna tell you guys why I bought it. Uh, but let's just get to it. Now shopping for designer items on Amazon or designer dupe items on Amazon is way more complicated than it used to be. Uh, they're super strict on, you know, designer dupes for really, really good reasons. I understand that designer dupes can be a problem to designers. Usually when it comes to items, I will just literally put designer dupes and this is usually how I find the items. I will try to find links for you guys, but just keep in mind that a lot of things on Amazon get taken down constantly. So my link may not be available to you anymore, but the really the only thing I do is I literally put designer dupes on the search bar and that's how I usually find my stuff. So let's get started with the first item. My first designer dupe item is going to be this little makeup bag and there was a time where the LV designs, uh, they really blew up on Amazon and this is when I grabbed this one. I love Louis Vuitton but I know that I will not spend a good penny on a makeup bag and it's because I know myself I'm really really bad with this type of stuff like if I show you the inside of it it already has makeup the outside of it has makeup I'm just not a person that's gonna drop $500 on a bag like this hopefully one day I will but if that's the case I'm gonna have to be super super careful with my stuff but as of right now I will not drop that money because I am not careful with my stuff um, this bag does have a zipper in the back. I use this when I travel. I put my makeup in here. Um, nowhere on here does it have the LV logo or does it even say Louis Vuitton? Nothing of that. It comes with a more maroonish color inside. It's similar to the LV one, but LV usually has like the red in here or the pink. Um, and it comes with like a little keychain type of thing, uh, like a little keychain adapter. So it's cute. I think it's adorable, gets the job done. I do like the Damier design on here. I think that it's just very elegant and yeah, I love this. The second thing that I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys are these glasses. These are so dirty, but these are literally my everyday sunglasses and these are the Celine dupes. Celine is very known for the three points of you guys see here. Uh, Celine has that on all their glasses. So these are Celine dupes. They're super cute. I love them. I'm telling you guys I wear these all the time, but I'm really bad with sunglasses. I will drop these all the time. I put them on my head. I just throw them in my car. So I don't want to drop three to $400 on some sunglasses that I'm most likely going to break. I remember when I first purchased my first pair of Ray-Bans, I broke them within like the first two weeks. I think I sat on them. So I just know myself and I know that I'm not going to be able to, um, I guess, deal with the fact of me breaking sunglasses that are in the three or $400 range. So these will have to do for now. These are super cute. I love them. I wanted to get the black ones, but they're so cute, you guys. Like literally I get asked about these all the time. Usually people think they are designer sunglasses, but as soon as you open them, like they're flimsy and they're flimsy because I made them that way. Like I literally put them on my head. I, they're just so bad. I just, I'm so bad with the sunglasses. The other thing that I got from Amazon that's gonna be a designer dupe are these, uh, Gucci dupe earrings. Now, saying these are dupes, I'm not saying that they copy the designer themselves because there's actually not a pair of Gucci earrings like this. Um, very similar ones, there are very similar ones, but if anyone really knows a Gucci brand, you know these are not real. Um, but they're still really cute. However, 
they are not comfortable and that just might be me i have really really sensitive ears so whenever i wear these i swear to you that i cannot wear them for more than like 30 minutes they hurt my ears so bad or they hear my they hurt my earlobes really really bad um but i still think they're really cute and these were super popular when they came out again i don't consider them a copy of the designer because there's not an actual earring design like this but there are very similar ones these are super adorable so if you guys know me you would know that i love chanel it's probably one of my favorite brands and chanel has these shoes that have been out for such a long time they're like the nude and black little heel shoe they're super cute when i saw a heart evangelista wear these and i'll put a picture of it i literally was like i need to have those so i bought them because when i showed them to my fiance he didn't like them at all but i was like i want to buy them to see if i would wear them like i want to see how much wear i would get out of them i'm sorry i bought the dupes um I don't get a lot of wear out of these. I only worn these ones and they were so uncomfortable. Like I swear to God, they were the most uncomfortable thing ever. And they just might be these shoes. So I will go ahead and put more options. I know like Shein has some too. I haven't tried them, but it's these here. It's so these are like a lot of people think these are like grandma shoes, which I can see that, but I love them. I think they're so elegant. I love like the sling back. It has the black toe with a nude heel. It's just so cute. And oh my God, I love these. I still think they're so adorable. I don't know if I might just have to break into them, but they were very uncomfortable when I wore them. And I literally only wore them for like, I don't know, four hours. But, and trust me, you guys, I can literally wear heels all day long. It's what I used to do before. Like I don't have a problem with heels. If anything, my feet hurt when I wear flat shoes, but these hurt my toes. Um, but I'm gonna give them another try. I'll let you guys know how I like them. I really wanna wear them for summer. I've had them for like a year and I've only worn them once. So again, I might have to break into them. If you guys like the Chanel uh, blocked heel, then you guys probably will like this one. But again, I'm gonna put more options because these were uncomfortable. I'm just not sure if that's for all of the shoes that come with that design. Then I have a really, really fun one. I love this one. This one was like $2, but it might be more now. And that is a Burberry scarf. So this is not a real Burberry scarf. I actually do have a real one, but this one here is so adorable. Now, nowhere on here does it have the Burberry um, logo. Like usually if you buy a Burberry scarf, it comes with a little Burberry one made in Scotland or made in wherever it's made. Um, this one doesn't have that, but it's so cute. I wear this one whenever I know that I might get messy. Like if I go to a family party where all the kids will be around, I don't wanna have to worry about my like cousins or nieces and nephews wanting to jump on me so i'll usually wear this one um it's so cute it's so soft i feel like if you like the burberry scarf but don't want to spend that much money i definitely would recommend one of these however as someone that has a burberry scarf there's nothing like it you're literally touching heaven itself it's so soft and it's so nice i have not gotten it dirty thankfully i've had it for i want to say like almost a year now i just feel like if you really really like one of these scarves and you're like you know what i might invest in a burberry scarf you can do that because if you take really good care of your burberry scarf you can sell it at any time for the same amount of price depending on which scarf you get usually they don't lose its value and people want them every year so again super cute i love it okay we are down to our last three items and these last three items are the ones that are actually a copy of the designer items we are going to go ahead and start with the hermes bracelet this is like i don't know what the right term for this bracelet is i actually didn't look it up it's a pink one now if anyone really knows designer you'll know that this is not real the pink and gold are way too harsh um hermes their bracelet is way lighter and um 
it literally has our mess in here so this is the only reason to why i bought it was because i really wanted this bracelet but hermes is way up there i mean they are expensive and i just felt like i wanted to see if i would get wear out of this which let me tell you guys i don't like i literally never wear i think i wore it once and then i just felt like it kept bothering me it kept moving around um but i don't know i might give it another chance i'm not really ashamed of the fact that i bought it i know a lot of people don't like that but i wanted to see if i would get my wear out of this which i don't and i might give it another try i have a couple of outfits i would like to wear it with but if you guys like her mess um and maybe want to take a look at their bracelets i'll go ahead and try to link some down um but yeah okay, so the next one and i don't know how to say this one is i don't know if it's cartier or cartier uh but this is their love ring right here <sighs> one day i really hope to purchase this one but i bought it for the same exact reason i wanted to see if i would get my wear out of it which i do not i usually only wear my engagement ring and this flower ring that my mom gave me but I was like, you know what, I'm going to find this, I'm going to give it a chance, I'm going to see if I could possibly get used to wearing it, and I do not, I always forget about it. Even when I go to my area where I have all of my rings, I'm literally always forgetting about this one. And this is an expensive ring when you go to the real brand. So I just feel like if I'm going to buy that one, I really need to get my wear out of it. Again, it's really cute. These are really popular on Amazon. I will try to link some below and i just feel like it's cute and simple but i do not wear it enough the last item on this list is going to be um some dupes again this is not really a dupe this is claiming to be the design but it's going to be the chanel earrings i literally never wear these i got them because i wanted to see what they look like they were really small i have real chanel earrings and you read right away when you put them next to each other you can tell that it's not the real thing um i i mean even when i i unboxed this i was like this is so cheap but if anybody ever wants to get chanel earrings they are expensive and they are in super high demand so i'm not going to shame anyone that wants to purchase dupes because everyone's situation is different but these are just simple Chanel dupe earrings um, and I don't know I mean I don't really like them but again I just feel like if you're interested in these you might be able to find them there now these are super difficult to find on Amazon these get taken down immediately so if you guys ever find some you like just hop on there because trust me they get taken on so quickly and again i will try to link some below so i know this video is not going to be for everyone i know some people do not agree with dupes at all and completely hate these type of videos so if that is you i apologize like i said everyone's situation is different i remember when i first got into really high brand designer items and i knew immediately that i could not afford them. even now i'm super hesitant about buying any sort of designer items because i want to make sure that i get my wear out of it um especially because sometimes things lose its value you're not able to resell them at the same price and i think more than anything that's where it gets a lot of people um but if you guys like any of these things just remember to look at the description video to see if i have anything linked on there like i said on amazon these things get constantly taken down so i will try my best to put links on there that will work but remember to like subscribe and comment down below give me some more ideas of what type of videos you guys would like to watch and i hope that you guys have a good rest of your day and take care